But they're talking about Job Centre Plus as though they're supportive. The reality is, is that people often succeed despite the hassle they're getting from Job Centre Plus, not because the support that they receive. It's not so much serv the services, it's the structure that the services fit in. You know, they're the ones that, that ask for the targets to be met. The services try and meet the targets, and I think somewhere along the way the people get left and kind of forgotten. Saying that they can't have needles in prisons because it's a p political thing, and um, they're afraid of what the media might put out to the public about needles in prisons, and uh, the fact is the needles in prisons are already there, and um, I think I think the authorities should begin to get more real. Skilling up, you know, presentation skills. And I hope my presentation skills are coming out, but I don't know. <laughs> but, um, you know, and um, we're pushing a social enterprise, um, you know, groups in South Wales are looking to amalgamate together. My, this is just my opinion, it's certainly not my dad's opinion. Right. <laughs> but um, the people who do go for abstinence services and do remain free from drugs and, yeah. and alcohol seem to leave more productive lives in the respect of when I when I was using for example I thought do you know what I just want to be normal and to yeah. me what normal meant was going out getting a job uh, having a family children you know all that yeah. kind of stuff and, and what abstinence based treatment has led to eventually for me with a lot of hard work is exactly that. How uh, glad I am to be here this year after being here last year seeing improvements that have been made and I'd like to say big up to the Bradford Surf and I'm happy to be involved with the Bradford Surf. I've come a long way since coming out of prison in August 2007 after a long time in prison, drug addiction. I'm clean at the moment, touch wood, hope it stays that way and I'm just happy to be here. Art Heads is a brilliant project um, that um, has been running for a few years involving music, uh, dance, drama, art, exhibitions and uh, it's basically been to raise awareness around addiction um, to the general public. That paperwork is actually an impediment towards creating a rapport with someone. If somebody comes in in distress, they've got loads of stuff going on, they may be feeling quite paranoid about having a contact with the system in the first place, um, the last thing they want to do is complete a massive mountain of paperwork. It, it's not helpful. Who's it for? The clients don't want it. They'd much rather just be able to chat to you. As a worker, it's, a, it's just a nightmare and a source of stress that stops you from being able to think properly about your client. And um, so who wants it? And I think the answer is it's the NTA that wants it. They want it so they can audit what's going on and it's all to do with performance management and ticks and boxes and nothing really to do with people's welfare and the welfare of the people who it's supposed to be about. 18 months ago now, it's about time that the NTA started kind of going uh, going Alan Sugar on the rogue commissioners right, who right. are not interested. And uh, uh, yeah, because at the end of the day, it, you know, it is proven that involving people and their experiences of treatment does contribute to more effective treatment. Yeah. We need to listen to what people want and we need to give them that. No one said to me it was possible to stop using drugs. No one ever, you know, did not clear about that. And I worry that that, that, still, that still hangs around, that kind of, it doesn't get tabled as an option quite as often as it might. Thank you very much. Perfect. And, and, right, yeah, for England, Right, yeah. You are doing a good job, and we can't dispute the entity, the alliance, you know, right, yeah, and you, you know, you are doing a job, and you are doing a good job, and you would be sorely missed if you wasn't there, you know, right, yeah, but come on, it's more than just England in, in, in the nation, thank you.